Hey guys, we're on day 12. Today I am taking a rest day, and this should have been yesterday. I don't know what I was thinking. Hindsight is 2020, but whenever I work a wedding, I, I'm automatically taking a rest day or two after that anyway, because I'm sitting at my computer editing for the next couple days. So, that's uh, I had 0% chance of doing yesterday well. I mean, I just have to recover. My feet are swollen, my legs are swollen. I come home and I take a handful of ibuprofen, you know, so I'm in rough shape after working a wedding. So I should have known automatically take a rest day. Now I know, you know, do an event, keep to my overall normal schedule. Don't try to interject a big workout all of a sudden thinking I could do three miles. <laughs> so, you know, no big deal. Uh, but today, yeah, I'm just going to do my normal thing. Got a lot of work to do. And I'm going to go shoe shopping. I need to find something a little bit better than the stuff I've got. So uh, I'm going to check out, uh, I think, uh, Sports Authority is kind of near me. So I'll see what they have for cross-country kind of shoes. I don't think I'm going to get normal track shoes. If I remember, they do have something specific for more rugged terrain. So I'll check that out. And I do have a cool new recipe. I went and bought ingredients. It's on the expensive side. I won't spoil it. It'll be up in a couple days after I make it. But uh, it should be real good. It's another adaptation of another recipe I've done on my cigar channel. Uh, if you're kind of new to this, uh, i got a lot of YouTube channels. One of them is a cigar review site, CigarObsession.com. And in there I do these periodic stuff called Guy Stuff. And they're just kind of videos that are, you know, to appeal to men. And I happen to do a lot of cooking stuff on there. And they were all, up until this point, filmed before this project. And uh, I do have a few more in the bag Got about a month worth that are going to be auto posting. So those recipes, not healthy, not healthy at all. Really good though, but uh, you know, not healthy. So what I'm doing is kind of adapting some of those because those are really my favorite recipes and kind of starting with those to make these healthier ones. And man, so far, awesome results. Really, really good stuff coming out of these. I'm enjoying them. They taste great and uh, they're healthy. Speaking of that, uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, so that's the official weigh-in day, and I've been trying not to do weigh-ins in between, but I did one this morning. Really depressing. Uh, basically, back to the beginning. I have no idea why. I feel a little bit lighter, especially around the gut. Nothing dramatic or anything, but, you know, uh, I do feel a little bit of a difference. It's not a placebo effect. And, uh, yeah, my weight back up a couple pounds from last Tuesday. So I don't know what's up with that. We'll see how it goes tomorrow when I'm actually weighing in the normal routine like I did last week, but I don't think there's going to be that much of a fluctuation, you know, day to day. Anyway, um, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. I might have a little update when I go shoe shopping and uh, see what I pick out or see what's available. See ya. Quite a few choices. Where to begin? All right, so I'm looking for a trail shoe. They don't have that many to choose from. Most of them are just straight running. Looks like the main differences between the trail and the regulars are the soles and the support. They have a lot more like like SUV tire type soles and traction on the bottom. Got this one here. This one here. This one's very light. Extremely thin and featherweight. And then we've got these three here, which are all the same model, just different colors. This has the most tame tread of the three. It's kind of like an in-between. Also very light. I yeah, guess I have to try them on. Well, it's a definite no to these. This is the largest pair they have in a 14. Feels like a 12. The tongue up here, I've got everything loose and it's still like cutting off the circulation in my foot. It's just, I can barely get it out. It's like a slipper. Next. And there's no point in trying these guys because the largest they have, 13. This is why it sucks having big feet. Largest size they have in this one, 12. Next door. Round two.
Complete strikeout. They only carry fashion shoes. They have no trail running shoes. All right, on the hunt. Last option for them all. All right, we got two funky ass choices here. These weird things. <laughs> and these guys. They're seeing if they have anything in my size. Well, strike out there too. The one pair they only had 13 and it was overall too small. The other pair they had in 13 and it was even smaller. I couldn't even slip it on widthwise. So I'm on to find a different store. All right, I just called around a bunch of stores. Not a huge selection of stores to begin with around here, but uh, we do have one specific running store and called them up and even they said they don't have any 14s in stock. Everybody says they can order them, but I can do that myself. Now the one pair I did try on, I think it was the first one at Sports Authority, did feel good except for the overall size being small. So what I might do is just uh, go online and see if I can find that in a 14. That at least was the widest of those that I tried. And uh, I'll look at some reviews. There's uh, some other brands like Brooks that I can't find anybody stocking at all around here. But they seem to be, get really good reviews. So. I'll check out the width of those, and uh, maybe I'll just, you know, mail order a few pairs and see what works. But bottom line is, I'm not getting a new pair of shoes anytime soon because nobody freaking stocks my size. Yay for me. See you guys tomorrow.